and then it's, it's freezing here. Oh, the fire, I need fire. I heard that Buddha planted watermelons here hundreds of years ago. One bite grants prolonged life. Yet, when the cold bites all around, without your powerful spells, there's no way I can find it. Someone once saw a chubby boy jump from the cliff with a watermelon in his arms. He rushed to the edge of the cliff but saw no movement down there. Seemed like certain death. Suddenly, he heard the boy laughing from beneath, on and on. Bewildered, he fled from the cliff. This story may offer a clue for my treasure hunt. Maybe the watermelons were planted under the cliff. Don't let me keep you, sir. I will leave by myself when I feel warm enough.
Time and again I tested you, and I saw nothing but gullible goodness. <laughs> Our brother does misjudge as well. It requires no effort to trick you. You will never be the destined one. Let me help you end your sorry life. Nothing more. I've done as our brother asked. Shall we meet again?
your faith has led you here. <laughs> Rest easy. You won't find those noisy chantings and pain screamings here. <sighs> A nice, ripe melon. <sighs> mm, Want a bite? It's better than you think. Sun Wukong used it to trick that disciple of mine. Come. Come closer. Now you've found this place, I'll teach you a trick neither of them knows. Your hand. Spellbinder. It hurts no foe, but binds yourself. You'll come to understand its use. An old friend of Sun Wukong came to me, wanting some peace. I led him to the Great Pagoda. Have you paid him a visit? <laughs> they say you are the destined one. But if destiny is set, what difference do our actions make? <laughs> 